What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony, and we headed back to the UK. Been a minute since I did this. A cow! Fire in the Booth Part 2. Now, what I do remember of Fire in the Booth Part 1 is that my brain was fried. He spit so much knowledge my way, my brain didn't know how to handle it. <laughs> but um, I appreciate that. It's different. It's different than talking about, you know what I'm saying, bitches and hoes and money and clothes and all of that. He actually give you knowledge to work with. You know what I'm saying? Something that you can pass on and something worth remembering. So, I appreciate his style. And I know y'all said he became like a professor and all that type of shit. Like, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. He used, he used his, his gift for to help and to aid others in a different way other than just a musically sounding pleasing way but um so wolfpack i appreciate y'all man continue to like comment subscribe and share if you're new here a little bit longer breakdown slash reactions i try to catch all the bars and break them down if i can play the whole song and um if i can't i expect the wolfpack to help your way out with a collar i'm not gonna catch it all i ain't got no lyrics <laughs> I ain't got no lyrics. It gotta be a lyric video on here somewhere, but I couldn't find it, so y'all just gonna have to deal with me. Help me out. Um, whatever I don't catch, just throw them down in the comments. I'll be now on with you. So, with that, Wolfpack, without further ado, man, let's hop right into this. Let's go! Try it! Yo, a caller. Wow. Knowledge is power. Volume 1 mixtape, 28th of May. Listen, acarlamusic.com. Chase. Tiny bit more vocal, please, actually. Listen, knowledge is power, always. Listen. The scam, brother, the scam! <laughs> Oi, mate, my personal life's great Some of you would love me more If I rub that in your face, okay Well, let us run down the resume And have a little chat about a car that's living today Big whip, nice yard, been all over the globe Look how many continents that I have done Shows, couple little companies, neat little office Everything going swell, little bit of profit Built a business, educating kids from the block So far as I'm concerned, you gotta be a mum to not rate him Oh my own masters <laughs> You got to be a mom to not, to not rate him. Uh, but he basically um, said, you know, I'm living good and all of that's like that. And basically like mocking him, like saying, like, I'm guessing that's what y'all would want me to rap about. How my money is, what kind of car I got, what kind of, what kind of house I got, stuff like that. So he started saying, like, you know, I got all this stuff and I'm doing good businesses now and all of that. But then he goes into saying, like, I, I made businesses to help kids and stuff like that. So, yeah, he was kind of making fun of what I was just talking about, how he don't talk about the cars clothes and the, the you know saying the chains and the girls and all that so he just started off like that like yeah let me y'all that like me better if i rap like this but i'm still finna flip it on y'all anyway on the block so far as i'm concerned you gotta be a mum to not rate him oh my own masters still my own master no strips on the way rap is just a part of the genius in his head and he knows it dickhead he said i own my own masters and i'm my own master instead of Having somebody else own my property and all of that stuff, and then I work under them. No, I own all of that stuff. Like all my music is mine. Everything I do is mine, and I get the the profit from that. Novels and scripts on the way. Rap is just a part of the genius in his head, and he knows it. Dickhead. Since I used to kick ball for West Ham with my big head. Back in school days, wearing hang me downs from my sister, and Gal was still onto man. Now that's some Ross charisma. It's just a nipper. I took my first pull of Rizla. <laughs> He said he was rocking uh, hand-me-downs from his sister, and he still was, like, rocking it, and it was looking dope. Like, that's charisma. Like, even though I was wearing hand-me-downs from my sister, I still had it looking, you know what I'm saying? I was swagged out, so don't even trip on me. I was good. I was still on to man. Now that's some Ross charisma. It's just a nipper. I took my first pull of Rizla. I knew you think gave me that. Yeah, my bigger sister. So when we speak a struggle, cousin, it's yours. You know the same old madness. Working class poor. Yeah, so may have won a couple of awards. I guarantee you that my family just as messed up as yours. All the abuse and the alcoholism and drug addiction. Uncles going to prison. This is working class living in Britain. It ain't great. You gotta be kidding. So please don't ever get confused by me spitting. Cause yes, I said the ghetto's in our head. 
secret, no I didn't mean If you live next to a food yard, let us in your dreams I meant believing in the madness they spout about us It's far more dangerous than putting us in council houses So yeah, I criticise, but from a place of love, never, ever Cause I think that I've become above every young brother You wanna judge as a tug, it's me man, it's a little guidance and love So I think that you're the mug Ooh. So is he saying like I'm guessing he caught some flack where people probably thought he was coming down on the hood, coming coming down on lower class and people like that because he he speaks elevation into people's lives. He wants you to be better. He says don't settle for, for down here when you can work harder and be up here. And people probably took that the wrong way. He like, no, my family just as messed up too. I got uncles and uncles I got uncles and cousins in jail and all of that too. Like my life ain't wasn't that great either. Like, I worked and got for it, but that doesn't mean you have to settle for that. If you can see more, then do more. Don't be stuck in a box. It's basically what I heard when him rapping that first one and stuff like that. And this one, it seemed like he's, like, explaining, like, don't think, don't get it twisted. Like, I ain't about the hood and all of that. Like, it's just that we got to be able to grow as well. And knowledge is power. And the only way we grow is if we learn and we learn by people teaching and I'm teaching y'all right now Young brother, you wanna judge as a tug It's me, man, it's a little guidance and love So I think that you're the mug And why be smug when it's an actual fact? We all commit crime Simply by paying tax Cause we didn't go and tickle them people in Iraq And ask them Little guidance and love, so I think that you're the mug. And why be smug when it's an actual fact? We all commit crime simply by paying tax. Cause we didn't mm. go and tickle them people in Iraq and ask them so politely for all the minerals we extract. We blew children's heads off, set fire to backs. With a gangster nation, get down and you get clapped. So when you see them running around on the road with heaters, don't be surprised. They're just copying their leaders. Long as the wars stay in places that are brown and poor, we can all pretend to be abhorred, but we applaud. If you go up tonight, but and get violent the policeman that duckers you will probably get knighted if i don't want to fight you cuz it ain't cuz i'm frightened i just rather fight with those who really think they're tight and sh Perfect. i ain't scared of bleeding i am <laughs> if i don't want to fight you it ain't cuz i'm scared of you but i re i really rather just fight the people who i feel like are the enemy like the people that's really putting me down like i really ain't got no beef with you and he said like um damn he said some other stuff at the beginning of that verse Ah, darn it. We can all pretend to be abhorred, but be in the leaders. No, the actual fact. We all commit crime. I've become above every young brother you wanna judge as a tug. It's me, man, it's a little guidance and love, so I think that you're the mug. And why be smug when it's an actual fact? We all commit crime simply by paying tax. Cause we didn't go and tickle them people in Iraq and ask them so politely for all the minerals we extract. That's what he said. He said we all commit crimes just by paying tax. Cause we didn't go over there in Iraq and just, you know what I'm saying, politely ask, hey, can we have all these minerals? No, we went and took them. He said, like, we're the gangbusters. Like, we, we the gangbangers. We basically, it's either get down or get clapped. Like, you either with us or you're against us. And we go over there and take whatever we want. We blew children's heads off, set fire to backs. With a gangster nation, get down and you get clapped. So when you see the youth, they're running around on the road with heaters. Don't be surprised, they're just copying their leaders. Long as the wars stay in places that are brown and poor, we can all pretend to be abhorred, but we applaud. If you go up to Knightsbridge and get violent, the policeman at Duckers, you will probably get knighted. If I don't want to fight you, cuz it ain't cuz I'm frightened. I when you see the youth riding around, with guns don't trip on them don't be mad at them they're just following the leader so leaders of the country go around to other countries with guns and shoot and kill and all of that the youth are seeing that and following that and the cops that have killed the youth or whatever shoot shoot at us are probably get knighted like they'll probably get awards for doing all that type of stuff I just rather fight with those who really think they're tight and sh Perfect. I ain't scared of bleeding I am scared of breathing Another breath in this world where everything is so uneven When millions murdered in the Congo when it's barely news But if a footballer's wife should buy a pair of shoes I'm supposed to give a f**k Apparently, I do not The world's a reflection of your block And if you think a world that profit from their death And be totally cool Thinks you're better cause you live here You're a bloody fool Look Ooh. around the genocide and abuse I Damn, he going hard, man This is like a This is why he teaches now this is why he teaches now. You can't have all that knowledge and not want to spread it out. He said, I ain't scared of bleeding. I'm scared of breathing another day in a life where nothing is fair. Like, that's what I'm more afraid of. And then he said, um, if you think they can go over there and kill 
for basically for their own gain? What makes you think somebody won't come here and kill us for for their own gain? You're a fool if you believe it can't happen. The world's a reflection of your block. And if you think a world that profit from their death and be totally cool, thinks you're better because you live here, you're a bloody fool. Look around at genocidal abuse. I swear to humanity ain't nothing but a virus with shoes. Then I pick my nephew up from school. Uh, and look at the and inhumanity ain't nothing but a virus we choose. Come on, man. Come on, Kyla. Come on, bro. If humanity ain't nothing but a virus with shoes, then I pick my nephew up from school and I look at the youths and see the love they show each other. And I'm just so confused because they ain't learned yet what is their race or religion. So we're born unconditioned, but we learn to play our position in the system. Look what that does to our recognition of self. We grow suspicion of our own intuition. Now listen, a call of sick way raps about racism too much. Could you imagine I gave a flame? Cause it's amazing. <laughs> He raps about racism too much, so he's making fun of the, the haters right there. But he said when he picks up his nephew from school, he's confused by how cool everybody is because they haven't learned that hate yet. They haven't learned how to play their position yet that the system has set up. So to them, everybody is just it's just one race, human race. So everybody's good. I always say that too, and my, my father has always said that too, that like, racism and all that is taught. You put them babies in a room, black, white, brown, whatever, together when they're children, they don't know. They just know that's another baby. That's another, you know what I'm saying? There is no hate there until it is instilled in them. And as they grow up, it becomes part of their lifestyle. It becomes part of them to hate. Oh, I got to hate them. That's, what I, that's all I know. I got to dislike them because they do this. I heard. You know, things like that, but yeah, it's basically, it, it's taught. They want to claim they love this music with no respect for the actual struggle that produced it. This amazing. How many want to claim they love this music with no respect for the actual struggle that produced it? Did hip hop not start in segregated hoods? Are them hoods not still segregated? So it's really good. Are the First Nation not still on reservations where the age of 46 is the average life expectation? And fellas, I wonder where. Bro, he said people claim they love hip hop. But they don't want to, like, they don't want to acknowledge why hip hop was made because it was created in hard times. It was a segregated hood. And he said, like, those hard times still exist today. But how can you love hip hop and not want to acknowledge the reason it was made? Like, the struggle that it comes from. You're up in the suburbs in a mansion rapping Tupac. Tupac was rapping, when he was rapping Brenda Got a Baby, that came from life experiences. Like, you're not living that. You're not experiencing that, but you love it, though. But don't you want to help the, the Brenda who's throwing babies in the garbage? Don't you want to assist to that and say, what's really going on down there? It makes you think sometimes. Hoods, and them hoods not still segregated, so it's really good. Are the First Nation not still on reservations where the age of 46 is the average life expectation? And fellas, I wonder where the favelas have been suddenly knocked down and replaced with something better. If you got sense, you see fights to join the race, class, and gender besides are the same coin. So if you're really down for justice, whoever the people who suffer, whoever you are, I consider you my sister's brothers, but call it what it is like Carlin or Bill Hicks. Not these patronizing left wing little. Twits to ask me bad. dumb shit on a superior tip. I wanna act like cause I read us all less violence as a kid. Don't make me an exception for your mental protection from accepting the madness in the system we are left in. That was the clearest <laughs> thing to come of August events. All the closet bigots started speaking their minds again. So when a Jamaican or Asians misbehaving, of course it's cause of their skin. Blonde hair kills a million people, that's just him. And it's entertaining, Woo! some people are so thick. Whether a black, Hispanic, or Asian or whatever kills kill people. It's because of their skin. It's because of who they are, where they come from. But if a white boy, white person kill a million people, it's just them. It's a sickness. They, you know what I'm saying? They're dealing with depression or they have mental illness. Dave said something like that in black as well. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? If, if it was us black people killing somebody or shooting somebody, then it's, you know what I'm saying? Shoot him. He's got a gun. But if it's a white person, like he's mental illness, he's sick. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I love I love that song Black by Dave, the live version. I think that that's the that's the one that actually like teared me up because it was just it was so profound and it just spoke to me for some reason. Dave's one of my favorites. But yeah, Kyle is saying the same thing here.
Blonde hair kills a million people, that's just him And it's entertaining, some people are so thick But I prefer that than all of the fake grins Cause it's the only problem people claim they wanna solve But don't actually wanna talk about how it evolved You are told, this country really, really yours sir? What they did to brown people did to their own poor first And originally in the states, working class whites were also enslaved That no one talks about it today Ever since the master came with the system of privilege Made the working whites the overseers, mulattoes the house Cause put the darkest blacks in the field that mind is with us still Billion dollar industry, skin cream and bleaching pills And let's be honest, most people in my complexion To this very day still think they're better than the darker section You say it's changed then only educate me about Wilberforce Not about the Africans in Haiti Who beat the armies of the British, Peach. Spanish and Napoleon From the moment they stolen them, there was no control in them When I was in school, she said no, you never fought for freedom No, we freed you and you were on your knees pleading And what's more, did you know that we kind of saved you from the barbarism of Africa? You should be grateful when another of our own people can't be bothered to read that they actually believed that we were swinging from trees they don't know the kingdom of congo had embassies in italy 500 years ago literally ain't heard of saint marie snow <laughs> he said if the, our people that haven't picked up first he was mocking teachers and stuff to say like no like don't you know we saved you like you there was so much going on over there you wouldn't have wanted to be there anyway but he said like and our people just believe that without having the knowledge, without picking up a book to know that we weren't just over there swinging from trees like monkeys. We weren't just over there in the jungle. Like we had, we had castles. We were royalty. We had to know our bloodlines and where we come from that we were royalty over there. And he said that was only 500 years ago. Like it wasn't, it wasn't thousands and thousands. It wasn't BC or nothing like that. This was just 500 years ago. Actually believe that we were swinging from trees They don't know the kingdom of Congo had embassies in Italy 500 years ago Literally ain't heard of The king of Congo had embassies in Italy So that shows you that there was nothing poor about it St. Marie Snow, Septimus Severus, they ain't studying the past cause they think it's irrelevant An attempt to pretend that ancient Egyptians weren't African Nothing more than pseudo-intellectual lies They obviously ain't read what Aristotle and Herodotus said About people that they saw for their own eyes And Egypt's been invaded since the fall of the pharaohs Not once, not twice, but many, many times So nobody wants to explain why so many statues are missing noses Even when them statues made of granite It ain't one people alone mistaught about themselves We live on Celtic land he said over in Egypt has been invaded many times. Not once, not twice, you know, but multiple times, but and it's because it was black people over there. And he said, people wonder why so many statues are missing from over there, even though they're made of granite. Like nothing should have happened to those statues. Over time, they should be at least preserved enough for people to just find them. They shouldn't just be missing. It's because they were taken. Stuff was taken and destroyed. To hide the truth behind it but don't learn about the celts the same irish people you characterize as stupid during the dark ages some of the most educated living in europe and did you learn the numbers you count with every day was invented by indian people i bet you didn't or how many oh. million indians fought for britain in both world wars still you got the cheek to call them immigrants we don't learn about the, of course, for some the numbers you count every day was created by indians and then you got the you feel like you got the right to still be calling them immigrants when like they fought for wars for you and they've they've given you the number system that we all use every single day that knowledge dangerous is it a problem the impact they had on the renaissance when people take power over another group we minimize their achievements so we can make it feel true so if you think columbus was first to say your ocean blue you probably believe elvis invented rock and roll too and oh <laughs> no doubt i believe in peace but not for one second and they'll turn the other cheek they slap you slap them back take teeth the only way your bully ever learn is getting beat fight fire with fire no nah, fire with water see the life giving force is stronger than the destroyer that's why these mcs can't speak to me no all men are not made equally my brain's made of iron fiber conducting the livest wire my average grades higher than oxford or cambridge require i don't want credit because i got a message i want credit because i'm the best mc did it when i came out baby, <laughs> four, four, sister i just want every award most man would have on credit because I'm the best MC dead it like MasterCard dead it bro I'm on credit and he said his brain is made destroyer. of destroyer. That's why these MCs can't speak to me. No, all men are not made equally. My brain's made of iron fiber conducting the livest wire. My 
My brain's made of iron fiber conducting the liveest wire. Like, come on, bro. I would place higher than Oaks for the Cambridge require. I don't want credit because I got a message on Average grades is higher than Oxford, Oxford and Cambridge require. Like, I'm a genius over here. Credit because I'm the best MC. Did it. When I came out way back in 04, sister, I just won every award. Most man would have done the bait thing, put big sits on the chorus chords. That would have been A-list draw. Quickly, I would have been famous more. But look how I came in this thing draw. Bang up the streets and war. If I am seed and I heard me rap, I'd be like, what the? I ain't never going to be that good. So I better not push my luck. It will embarrass me. Only insanity would make you challenge me. Better hope if we bump heads that day that I feel like charity. If not, it's a beating. And there ain't no use in searching for meaning. Because all it means is that you are crap and I am a genius. Why I'm Panama? I push the parameter. Can you imagine a fathom? I'm sicker than average. I kill him with character. Banneker, look at the marriage, I'm in a damage away from a tanica. Got a look for the whole of the calendar. So cold that I'm all in a challenger. Why you man roll with the amateurs? I'm too much harder. You can just call him father McCarla. But I don't talk shit like a pastor. You really know that I'm smarter than half a bloody disaster. If I ever start, I'll probably a prodigy makes you a martyr. For these crap and sees that mumble. Then see me in the flesh and crumble. Let's never told you I'm humble. No, I'm not. He said something in there about being a martyr for these sucker MCs that mumble. Like, he can't be a mumble rappers right there. You a martyr for these crap MCs that mumble Then see me in the flesh and crumble That's Whoever told bad. you that I was humble No I'm not, don't lie I'm so sure in my writing ability That I feel like I'm finding divinity Sit down and me rhyme a soliloquy My agility, time and it's military What a scene, guillotine for the mini-me It seems rough theme for the mimicry Your team couldn't dream of the synergy That I've been when I scheme when the wicked beat There goes again with the big words with best syllables Get your dictionaries out, that's what I'm about Clowns wanna shout Flash them, smash them in the mouth Bloody professor, a man of the letters I read and I read and I'm sure that I'm better Never regret an endeavor to dead an oppressor I think <laughs> that the lepers that think that their pleasures are better endeavors Than all of our pressures, but see me? Born in a rage, maroon blood coursing my veins. As you can see, I was born for the stage, but I'll never be their cultural maid. Some say that we're political, is what they're doing isn't. Don't they preach a political doctrine called materialism? But for all the Italian clothes that you wear, or German cars that you drive, or French champagne that we buy, we'll still be monkeys in their eyes. So why you were begging it? Uh, you know, Italians fight to wear Jamaican clothes. No matter, like, why are you wearing all their stuff, all the Italian clothes, and driving German cars and stuff like that when. They still look at you as monkeys anyway. They still look at you as just being black anyway. Don't matter how much of that that shit you put on. So why not support black businesses? Why not wear black clothes, drive, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. That's what he was getting to. Italians call their own women for everyone's entertainment, bro. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the one with the codes and flows all over the globe. I'm bunning out shows, but still don't oil my chest and pose. Pose a threat to the power structure. Not because we're anything special, but because we're the people together. And that's the only way things change ever. Oh my gosh. This <laughs> man got a problem. I just the building to pieces. I don't even know what to say. I, I feel like I've just been schooled for a hot minute right there. So oh, for sure. Sure. you know what? Like, I don't want to hear Charlie. you. Don't call my phone. If you ain't coming to destroy and be like that, don't call my phone or you're going to get a voicemail. A caller. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say. Bro. Yo. Little story. Let's take him down. That's Yo. Like Listen. Uh. Yo. I know you gonna dig this. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. But then he said, then you say absolute powerless, that's the same thing. Like having too much power can be detrimental to you because it corrupts you and then not having any power can be detrimental to you it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane absolute power corrupts absolutely but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day yo listen in a scheme of living my life wasn't hard but as far as Britain goes, shh, I practically starved Sleeping in a tracksuit, gas meter running out Electric car off as well, candles lighting up the house Looking in my mother's eyes, I see how she feels The strain and the pain of just paying bills that ain't real And that's how I grew, like so many more And that was part of who I am, I am very sure You wanna know the rage I feel in my stomach? No, my mama and dad's blood when I was still in her stomach And not everything that happened I will put in 16s But I will tell you enough so you will know what I mean My boy's mother got cancer the same time as mine but his mother died and mine survived it was crazy back then when i was like 10 already had the mental strength more than many grown men this was a couple uh. years after my stepdad left he said by like 10 i had the mental strength of grown men like grew up kind of poor and you know what i'm saying my mom's got cancer my boy mom's got cancer his mama died and mine's lived and that's hard to deal with 
Because he got to see my mama every day. And I get to be with my mama. But I know my boy's hurting because his mama gone. You know? Had the mental strength more than many grown men. This was a couple years after my stepdad left. Did he really know the crazy mess that he left? Because mum done recover from the lumps in her neck. But being poor and alone couldn't cope with the stress. Uh, my big sis fought so much so. Now I hadn't left school when she left home. I was 13 by now, still a little kid, innocent. Next couple years, though, will turn him to a militant. That is the result of no food in the fridge. And every other day you're getting searched by the pigs Plus these patronising teachers Though my grade's sick, trying to emasculate me Yeah, turn me to a Anna Don't mean a woman, please let me be clear I mean a spineless man, because what do they fear? More than a working class brown male with a brain When our energy is harnessed, everything changed Look at Pac, look at Marley, look at Hendrix, look at Garvey This is the potential that is wasted on a daily basis A racist, classist world that we're living Still we're coming for nothing and we educate millions I see why it scares you, it's like how dare you. Coming from nothing and we educate millions. I see why it scares you. Like he said, I grew up by 13. I was a militant because I just had to do what I had to do. But even though in school, like I was, I was doing great. My grades were good and people were, they still was trying to emasculate me. They still was trying to bring me down because they fear nothing more than a educated black man. Overcome obstacles that we have been careful to place in your way every step of the way in this so called democracy where kids get sprayed blacks and the Asians, Turks and the Chavs, crowded in council flats, living like ants. And who's more confused than so called white trash talking this madness? But they want their country back, it never was yours. Ah. You should read more what they did to brown people, they did to their own poor, but people's memory short so much that I'm seeing black and Asian kids cuss Eastern Europeans. No pot to piss in makes competition. I fail to see how this is an effective system When cats and dogs in America and Britain Eat better food than most of humanity And we spend our technology Ooh. only on kids well, Some of the stuff he was talking about the, the UK side of things over there And their social systems and what's going on over there And it sounds similar to over here you know, We want our country back and stuff like that It was never your country first It's not your country Like You know what I'm saying? Like It wasn't yours to begin with <laughs> wasn't yours to begin with so that's when like over here with the whole thing when Obama became president it's like they felt many of them felt like they lost something like they lost control of something instead of looking at as that the country has grown to the point where this can happen they felt like the country re regressed and this is happening because it's so bad and now we've lost something so when Trump came, they voted as a monolith. Like, we don't care what happens. We need to get this back on track. We're all going to vote together. We don't care what he says. We don't care what he does. We, doesn't get, we don't care about none of that. We just need to get the control back. So they voted as a monolith. And they did that and just caused like four years of just hell over here for no reason. To just be put out, it, it don't make sense. But that's what they believe. That's what they believe. And he said they before they was enslaving black and brown people, they was enslaving their own people. So don't get it twisted. Killing. How is this food than most of humanity? And we spend our technology only on killing. How is this more than sophisticated savagery? It was once said, the world is a stage, each person just an actor with a part to play, like the middle class kids and kids of the rich that have everything, but yet still they pissed on their coke and ketamine, strung out on, I ain't generalizing. Look at the evidence, so go to Glastonbury ah. every year, you will see. But unlike Carnival, it won't be crawling with police, this is London. The kids on the very next street had a very different life experience from me. And in my experience, they can't help but be smug after a lifetime of what they think's just good luck. But are still more anxious and more thankless. Unearned privilege weighs like an anchor. That's why they copy what we do, trying to be <laughs> what they not. They know. Unearned privilege hangs on you like an anchor. So he's saying the people that are rich, the people that that are middle class have everything handed to them, they're the ones that have the drug problems, the drug addiction. They're the ones unhappy and suffering through depression because they see people are suffering right across the tracks and they see people that don't have all of that and that are fighting and scrapping for everything they have and mentally it takes a toll on them. And they're like, how do I have all this? I haven't even earned it. But they're 
fighting for scraps over there, digging through the garbage for, for food to, to feed our baby. And that is an anchor on them and brings them down mentally. No one get better jobs. That's why they copy what we do, trying to be what they not. They will grow up, no one get better jobs. And maintain a system that they claim that they hated. They can't fight against, they've got a stake in this matrix. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> they will grow up and get better jobs and stuff. So they will be depressed at first and they will grow up and get better jobs. And you know what I'm saying? They will be become part of the system that they claim that they hate. The system that made them feel that way while they were younger. And then they can't complain or anything because they got a stake in this ma in these matrix. Like they got is too much invested in it from their family's point of view. For them to try to tear it down, it's too much invested in it. They got a stake in the matrix, like a stock or a shareholder of it. Hip hop is just a fad to them. You didn't know, but for us, this is our living, breathing soul. And yeah, yeah. they might be back in South America or even volunteer in an African village. But all said and done, when push comes to shove, and sh hits the fan of middle class and British, and I ain't even dissing. That's just how it is. Most rich brown people are just as full of shit. So Ooh. much more concerned with our cars and jewels than most of the world's poor looks just like you. So yeah. much more concerned with being privileged few. And who knows, maybe me too, because absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane. Woo! Who's bad? Middle class ain't shit. And the black people who are in that light too, ain't shit. Because they just want to talk about their money and how they got all of this and their cars and everything like that. So happy with being one of the privileged few that you're forgetting about everybody that's broke looks just like you. Like, so you should be doing something more to help that and change that instead of celebrating it, throwing it in their face. That's 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 dope. And he said and he put himself in it too. Like make shit, maybe me too. But no, I call it that ain't you, bro. You on here right now in a in a white tee with an afro spitting and preaching facts. That's why you're teaching college courses now. Like that that was dope, bro. You learned I, I can listen to that and on repeat and just continue to learn and learn and learn. And that's what it should be about. Like, I mean, it's a place for the, for the, you know what I'm saying, the money, cars, the clothes, and the hoes, because everybody ain't just trying to sit there and learn every single day. But it's also a place for this, too. Like, this has, this has its space, too. Like, and it's just as important. Just as important as the club music before you go hit the club. This type of rap and music is important, too, because it can reach our people. He said, you know, it's a he said hip hop is a fad for them. It's just something to do at the time, a trend. But to us, it's our life. It's what we're living, what we go through every day and see. Living. And when NWA made fuck the police and all of that, it's because the police literally was fucking with them. <laughs> like it wasn't a joke. Shutting down the concerts and everything, or even before they became NWA. Police was there. So it wasn't just like, uh, you know what I'm saying, some rich kid listening to it saying, fuck the police. Yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck the police. When you ain't never been in contact with the police. It was different for somebody like me being down there like, fuck the police. Fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I have experiences with them. So it ain't just a trend or a fad. It's my real life experiences. Salute to you, Akala, man. Salute. So I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all tell me what y'all feel about this track. Tell me what y'all feel about a collar. Comment anything y'all want to. I'm down there with y'all, man. Don't be afraid. It's it's a safe space in the comments, man. I ain't, I ain't tripping on that because your opinion is your opinion. I have my opinion. It's not that we can't disagree. People can still disagree and not hate or anything like that. It can just be a difference of opinions, and that's okay. That's okay. 
today's world, it's like people don't, like, if you don't agree with me, you hate me and I hate you. No, if you don't agree, okay, cool, you don't agree. But that's my opinion. That's what I feel. You feel how you feel. <laughs> but, look back. We'll be back. Let's go.